Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it is Joshy here, and I am here to get into how to get Chrome Beast in J Cocoon 2. Now, before I do get into this, please think about liking the video if you find it helpful or you like it, and use the comment section if you have any more questions, which I will get to, or even if you just want to let me know how you're going with it or that. I actually also really love hearing when you guys succeed using one of my how-tos. Um, and then don't forget to check out the channel, especially if you love Jake Cocoon 2 content. I've got from speedruns, a normal playthrough, right through to having many like these that I'm using here, specialized playthroughs, and like I'll be using for this one's example, uh, you can see we're all using Gara, and the one below is all Og. So I've used literally just certain beasts through. But let's use the Gara one so I can get into it. Now, before I get into how to get them, I think the best thing to touch on is what are Chrome Beasts and what do they do? Well, I can show what they are pretty easily because my, all these playthroughs I like to use one. So here, as you can see, we have Waddles and we're, we're Chrome. Very shiny, very cute. Uh, covers their whole body in Chrome and, you know, looks pretty cool. You will notice it immediately as they're very clearly, you know, a chrome beast. Um, we're obviously not the exact same with a water variant, but as you can see, all colourful, you know, more texture looking in the colours, blah, blah, blah. This straight up chrome colour. Also, um, thing I'll point out is most chrome beasts do have their eyes still in their colour or glowing through, but for Waddles, this third stage of his, for some reason, is completely chromed over the eyes. Now, beyond the visual aspect, there are a couple of other things. First off, the HP is halved. As you can see, his HP here in the middle of the screen is only 368. And if we go across, we can see these other guys are a bit higher. He also does have some abilities um, oh, uh, here to up his HP a little bit. It's only 10%. But, you know, this guy, this Karach family is a high HP family, so it would actually be 738, uh, 6, sorry, if we weren't Chrome. But on the other side of that, when your HP is halved from being Chrome, your speed is actually tripled. So if we look down at the speed here, we've got a speed stat of 129. Now that, you know, doesn't seem the craziest number, but when you look at the rest of these guys all sitting quite low, you know, 129 for a Gara, and especially for the Karach line, is incredibly large. Now, just so we understand it, like, obviously it's pretty straightforward. Less HP means less hits can be taken till you die. But, the speed boost actually does more than what a lot of people think. Now, for a lot of us, we originally would think, yep, speed decides who goes first and who's faster. Pretty straightforward. But, tying in with who's faster, this game uses a speed stat not only to decide which team or which side or which you or the wild beasts attack first it also uses it to decide if you hit when you are using a skilled or physical attack so if i if waddles jumps across to do an attack majority of the time waddles will hit because waddles is incredibly fast and it also works on the opposite side of this when someone coming across to hit you with a physical attack if your speed is higher or the the higher your speed is, the greater chance it is that you will dodge. Now, 129 is quite massive compared to the rest of the Garas here, but we are Garas, we're slow. If you want to see a good example of this, as I said, there are multiple playthroughs on my channel. If you pop towards the end of my Alco run, I have a Chrome Alco Beast, and we know Alcos have a large speed stat, so they actually end up dodging a lot more um, physical attacks than Waddles actually does. Now, the final part to kind of pay attention to that is the real exciting part of this is Chrome Beasts are completely immune to all magic attacks. So they are things from like, you know, Yaga, um, Vahuluna, um, or it's Yagalina, sorry, Vahalina, uh, Agni, you know, Soldone, all those attacking moves that are magic attacking moves fully nullified on Waddles. And, you know, if you have a shield up and it's going to hit your Chrome Beast, it'll actually ignore the shield, go for your Chrome Beast, and be completely nullified, which means the shield doesn't take damage, and that literal attack is just useless. And if you want to see an example, this playthrough has multiple of them. And even 
a way that it works with multi-hitting moves going through the shield and then fully being immune. But we won't get into that. Um, on top of that, add Slan, um, you know, dropping stats, you know, other status abnormality magic moves will not work at all. The only negative side of this is you cannot boost his attacks with things like Metria, where, which would boost all, and you cannot heal with your healing moves with, you know, like Meta Knight and things like that. Because, or Metatype, sorry, because, again, they're a magic-based move and we're completely immune to them. So, it has a little bit of a double-edged sword, but mostly it's fully beneficial for you. There are a couple ways to work around the healing area. Obviously, items work, but outside of items, I'll get into that after we get a Chrome Beast, because, you know, there are, there are a couple little ones and I'd rather touch them in a hint than that. So now we've looked at what a Chrome Beast is, how do we get one? Well, Chrome Beasts come from merging. You don't just get them randomly, you get them from merging. Now, originally, I was going to use this Slitheratch. I'm going to explain why, but I'm going to get a different one out. But if I was using this Slitheratch, like as I said, it's pretty obvious you would hatch your egg and this guy would be Chrome, you know? Except for maybe his eyes glowing, depending on if they keep it or not. You know, as I said, some will, some won't models for example it does not other than that full streamlined chrome looking models so you will know immediately so when merging you always have a chance for chrome it's about a one in one thousand chance but through a little bit of manipulation and selective merging you can actually get this down to a five percent chance which is literally one in 20 which is dropping our chances by like 980 tries to be the average of getting one which is incredible now, I did state I'm not using the Slitheratch, and there is a reason, but originally my thought was, and how a lot of people stated it, is all you need to do is merge with a beast that already has that ability. And I've always done that. But the reason I grabbed this CB, or this Slitherash, sorry, we have no merge, but we hatched with MP Recovery. Now, I have merged with a Seed Beast with MP Recovery 40 times now and not been successful. Now, that could just be bad luck, but statistically, I should have had two Chromes in that time. I am wondering or thinking if it needs to have either A, the same attack as well as the ability, or it needs to have at least gained that ability from that seed, exact Seed Beast before. I'm not going to go into full chance and try and trial and error because it will take a lot of time and I am not good at data mining to find out those stats. And this being an older game makes it a little kind of less attention on it that it's not in today's time where people would be diving in to know all the stats. So what I am going to do, I am going to drop this Slitheratch off and get another beast that I want to use. And we will be, you know showing it from the base level. So, let's drop... Oh, shivers, I went into the wrong thing. Sorry, I was autopiloting. Um, we're going to... drop off our little Slitheratch here. And we're going to piece pick up... and we're going to pick up this guy, Aroga Karach. Now, whether he has an ability or not, I don't mind. The only thing is, we are ready for a merge. Now, I know he's on the Earth side, but I don't really care too much right now. What I am going to be doing, uh, we are precocious, that's nice. I'm just going to be merging him here with Spirit Up 1 for Baroner, because I'm going to use this guy with this attack in the end of this playthrough, because there's a tournament where you can only merge twice. Now, as you can see, we just skipped over all our merging. You know, the eggs, you know, hatching, and the merging of the seed beast animation. All you have to do to do that is click start. Just so you know, in case some people are a little bit unsure, literally just click start. Our next job here, obviously, is we need to get him back to level 15. After one merge and being post-defeating Levant, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. We just need to go beat a couple guys. All right.
Alrighty, I think that one was it. And as you can see, we have evolved. But we're back to level 15. So that took a little longer than I wanted it to, but I also didn't think about the fact that I could have been further through the forests, and if I really wanted to speed it up, uh, if I had mostly finished the game, I could have just versed a forest boss again. But that doesn't matter. So let's go show how to do this. So I would always set up a save before doing the merge that you really want to get the chrome off. And I would always do it here in the room of life where you're merging. And this is so that you can reset afterwards without, you know, having to... Well, I mean, you can reset and try again. You don't have to get to level 15 again. Alright, so pretty simple as before. We're straight in. We merge. But this time, we're going to merge with the exact same move and ability we got last time. And again, I originally thought it was just the ability, but from my own trial and errors, it's not just the ability. It may be both. It may be the ability gives it some bigger discount. Discount? It reduces the odds. The attack reduces the odds. The combo of the both. It may be it has to be a C beast you've used before. It may be it has to be a C beast you just used. So if you're really after a chrome, I would suggest doing this and just using the seed beast you just used because I can confirm that will definitely reduce the odds to about that 5% 1 in 20. And I'm not going to click start here just so you guys can see that they're appearing and then start. And same again. And then start. No chrome. Alright. So that's our first one. Name him, put him on or not, doesn't really matter for this at all. And then go out, reset and try again. I'd suggest for resetting using another save slot, and then that way you can not reset the whole PlayStation. And it makes it faster, but I'll get into that a little bit more with the tips and tricks. So I'm going to keep trying this, I'm going to keep a counter on it, just so I can know how long this one takes me. Um, but I can't say it'll be fast or not. I'll go through this one with you guys, but after that, I will just keep doing it myself. Because if it does take me 20 plus tries, do we really want to sit here and watch 20 mergers? And I mean, I guess the cool cutscene, which once you've seen it a hundred times, you've seen it a hundred times, which I've seen it well beyond that. But, you know... I'm not even going to watch it, so we're not even seeing that little thing, as you can see. And I'm just clicking start from here, and that's two with no chrome. So I'll be back with you once this little ogre car hatch chromifies. Chromifies, becomes chrome, whatever, soon. Finally, number 29. It also wanted to push me forever, but we did it. And for a second there, I thought I'd unclicked recording. So as you can see, our eyes aren't showing in this one either. But we have our Chrome. So once you have your Chrome, save it. Um, pop him on where you want. Or pop him away. And as I said... Save it, and save over your main file. Now, last thing before we get on to a couple of hints and tips, is you aren't guaranteed to keep your beast as a chrome once it's chrome. When you re-merge it, it's got about a 1 in 8, or is it 8 out of 10, maybe, percent chance, like, chance to turn back from chrome so let's say i don't need to go into there because it's not ready but let's just say waddles was ready for a merge i do the same situation i just did then in terms of 
put a save and reset until the merge that I want results in Waddles staying as a chrome. I can't remember if it's like you have 80% chance to stay chrome, 20% to change back, or vice versa. But even if you only have 20% chance to stay chrome, it should only take you about 5 merges max. And I've actually found, at least for me so far, merging most of my beasts to stay chrome has actually been... I don't think Waddles has needed 2 yet. Waddles has stayed chrome on the 2 or 3... 2 merges post going chrome. So it's not something you need to worry about too much. Well, you do, if you want to keep it chrome, but you don't have to worry like it's going to take you as long as it just bloody took me to do this. Now, let's get on to our hints and tips. So I'll start with where we were, I've spoke about it a few times and you probably noticed, but we'll go through it. Um, oh, shivers. Hello. Sorry, I thought I was further back. Now, resetting. Now you can reset your uh, PlayStation if you want. If you have an emulator, you can probably do this differently. But the fastest way, if you are playing on a PlayStation, is to have your main save, which is my top one, and then have another free slot down the bottom. If anything goes wrong that you're trying to reset for, and it'll usually be item merging or, like here, Chrome Beasts, you go and save in the bottom slot and then you just reload your save prior to you know the merge now a couple of points first off you may notice that my save down the bottom is one less beast than the one up the top if i'm going for a chrome and i don't get it i will then not put that beast back on the amulet i'll leave it with her one because if it's on the wrong other side of the amulet i have to go find it, it takes a little bit more time but the main reason is that having these two saves as a different number of beasts if they are beside each other and i get into a routine where i'm just rolling through and i you know just get in the motion it saves me doing a brain fart now doing a brain fart of loading the wrong game file up is okay but doing a brain fart of saving on your main file with a failed chrome merge means that you either a lose the chrome that you were trying to just keep because they're merged again or you now have to wait till that beast gets again to level 15. But if you've remerged it with a, you know, attack slash ability it already has, then, you know, you're back at square one. You know, well, actually, no, you're like three steps behind square one because one of your merges has been used. And, you know, you might have gone, okay, let's get them prone. Then next level we'll do, or next merge we'll do this attack, this attack, this attack. Now you're a whole merge behind, it's going to take longer to get where you saw the end point at. So I would always suggest doing it like this, having them separate numbers, and keeping them obviously separate. I have two main slots, as you can see the Ogs and the Gara at the top two. Once I finish my Gara run, I then will restart and, what's next, Slimy will overtake the Ogs. And so I keep the bottom one exclusively for resetting. Oh, one little thing I did forget to mention here, and if you're someone who uses Turbo like me, this is where you need to be careful. If you are doing the save reset, it'll take you back to the main menu, but if you're holding down X, it starts the main menu selection on new game, which, you know, whatever, but if you've got Turbo and not paying attention, you start a new game, it starts the whole annoying intro, and then there's conversations and stuff before you can even save the game in that slot to reset it and it's actually better at that point to reset your playstation which is really frustrating so just doing the game reset just be careful on this main menu that you don't accidentally choose new game and you go back into continue now how to heal now i spoke about this a little bit earlier you can only heal with items other well you can heal other ways sorry but items are your main way of healing as you can't heal with you know move so puddles here puddles has you know salamness salamness sorry there we go didn't want to say it too wrong um that won't affect walls so waddles can't recover from status conditions from that and doesn't get hp recovery but there are a couple of different ways to do it first off and i'll just go into stab stab here you can see with stab stab we have lifesteal so any of these where like we're absorbing so here we're absorbing HP and MP, but Lifesteal, Power Drain, um, Yaga, and that family, any of those moves, you will recover what you stole off them. That will work. Other than that, oh, 
Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. As you can see here with puddles, I have HP recovery. Now, depending how it works out with where your beast is, if your beast is in a center slot that you're making chrome, it's a lot easier because you only have to give it one move to rely on. Here with Waddles, I have both the earth and the water side to work on, so I have to keep balancing moves and abilities. But even if it's not right away, I would always keep in mind that HP recovery is probably something you do want on your chrome beasts. Just because, you know, even with an enormous amount of speed or this or that, you can have times that, you know, you are going to get hurt. And so having this here just allows you to recover it off, even if you have to use another side or two once or twice or whatnot you will at least start recovering it back or if it's just an odd hit here or there that's fine it's not going through four seven islands whatever in the forest and being left where it's like oh it's happened four times now i'm on red hp again you'll probably find healing items but it just helps balance that out and that would be the one ability i'd say to really make sure you have is HP recovery, but again, depending if you want an early Chrome, then you can make it work a little bit better. Depending on placement, I always suggest abilities and attack wise as well, plan, plan your Chrome. If you don't care, it doesn't matter too much, but if you really want to optimize them, kind of have a thought ahead and plan where this Waddles, you can realize we had five mergers when it's still not at the end. Uh, it's because we didn't have skill hold till recently, we had Yaga, and I used Yaga because I got MP up 2 from it. I used the Yaga as my re- or Yagala, or whatever one it was. I reused that one to get my Chrome, which meant I delayed me getting Blast, which then thus delayed me getting my MP recovery from Skill Hold. So that pushed us back a little bit, but it's because I didn't want to use a... Um, I think it was Precocious and Blast as my thing, just in case it moved Precocious from where it was, but I think it usually will keep it in whatever spot it's in, but it was just me being a little pedantic and cautious. But again, plan, HP recovery, one of the best abilities to have on your Chrome Beast. And so, yeah, that's about it. So, as I said, like, recovering items and abilities or siphon moves and really consider your things as well you could be running a um speaking about abilities for a second you could really look into trying to run just so much speed on a chrome beast and that would be really intriguing i'd, I'd like to try that myself because it would mean a lot of dodging and you're you know you can't dodge magic moves but you fully resist them so it works out really well I am going to do a little fiddling just to see if I was a little unlucky when I said before I was trying to get my, um, that Slitheratch that hadn't been merged yet to Chrome and we hit 40. So I might do a little bit of fiddling just to see if I was really unlucky with that. But overall, that's about, you know, it. This is where we're at and I hope this has been really helpful. It did take me a little bit to recall because as I said, 29 merges with him and I started letting the egg hatching animation happen from quite early on because I thought that'd be cool to see the egg hatching animation as their chrome. So, you know, it was cool and fun at least to see that but obviously having to watch it a heap of times is a little bit monotonous. Uh, if you do, as I said earlier, if you found this helpful, you do like it, etc. A like is always appreciated. Use the comment section. If you have other, you know, thoughts, uh, if you actually discovered something yourself, if I fail to mention something, there, like, these are all fantastic reasons to put things down there. Or just let me know what you chose to be Chrome and how successful you were, or if you got really lucky out of nowhere and got one, which I think is almost how I ever first discovered they were a thing. Or I may have done the technique of a repeated merge, but I didn't really realize what it was at that stage because it's not something, you know, the NPCs talk about a lot. Uh, and then also check out the channel if you want to see other stuff I've done. I have an item merging um, how-to video and with hints as well for that if you're after rare eggs or certain things. And then a heap of Jake Coon 2 content on top of so much else. But anyway, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, until my next video, I'll see ya. Music